We're going to take you back now to that breaking news. President Biden's son, Hunter, has been found guilty in the federal gun trial against him. The jury making the decision on three felony gun charges after hearing from more than a dozen witnesses. For the first time, the son of a sitting U.S. president has been convicted in federal court. President Biden's son, Hunter Biden, found guilty on all three federal felony gun charges. The jury ultimately deciding he violated laws meant to prevent drug addicts from owning firearms. Those three counts, count one, false statement in purchase of a firearm, count two, false statement related to information required to be kept by federal firearms licensed dealer, and count three, possession of a firearm by a person who is an unlawful user or addicted to a controlled substance. This is not a surprising verdict, David. Because as a technical matter, the defense had an uphill battle here, right? The, the moment that this case was going to trial, it was immediately clear that the defense was going to be in trouble. This is not only politically damaging to President Biden, but deeply personal, although the president has said he would respect the verdict and not issue a pardon. He is uh, incredibly close to his son. Uh, they speak virtually every day. Uh, and as we know, uh, uh, President Biden had said not long ago uh, when asked about all of this, all of the legal trouble swirling around a uh, Hunter, that his son had done nothing wrong. Prosecutors argued Hunter Biden illegally purchased a Colt revolver in October of 2018 while he was allegedly addicted to drugs, accusing him of lying about his addiction on a federal form. During the trial, jurors hearing testimony from several women in his life, including his ex-wife and ex-girlfriend, the owner and employees of the gun shop where he bought his firearm, and a number of expert witnesses. His 30-year-old daughter, Naomi, also taking the stand, but Hunter Biden did not testify in his own defense. His defense lawyer arguing Hunter Biden was using alcohol at that time, but not drugs, and that the form was confusing. And just moments ago, the White House releasing a statement from President Joe Biden on that verdict. He starts off saying, quote, as I said last week, I am the president, but I am also a dad. Jill and I love our son, and we are so proud of the man he is today. The president goes on to say, quote, as I also said last week, I will accept the outcome of this case and will continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. Jill and I will always be there for Hunter and the rest of our family with our love and support. Nothing will ever change that. Hunter Biden, by the way, could face up to 25 years in prison and a fine of up to $75,000. But he is unlikely to get the maximum as he is a first-time offender.